Hey guys, if you're in NYC, that you're enjoying the nice weather today. We had a beautiful past couple of dates. It's been really nice and much needed. So soak up all of the sun that you guys can, but welcome on in. Today, I'm joined by the lovely Isabel to help moderate. Isabel, thank you for being here with me. Um, let me get the Instagram up and going real quick, and then we'll dive into today's show. There we go. Okay, perfect. Instagram friends, hi, hello, how are I know. <laughs> My words per minute is actually like crazy, crazy high. I've always been a quick typer, which is a good trait to have, I feel. <laughs> Bon Bon, how are you? Yes, guys, I got my voice back. I am thrilled about that. I'm finally feeling better. So your girl is in high spirits. <laughs> Thank you, Cherry. Welcome in, you guys. I hope you've had a beautiful past weekend, a beautiful Monday. We are now into Tuesday. Time flies, but today I have a beautiful selection of some incredible watches and some jewelry sprinkled in for you guys. Atusa, how are you? Happy Tuesday. Thank you for joining. Um, I'm really excited to show you guys what I have today. I kind of went a little high end, not gonna lie, with a lot of the watches and the jewelry, but there is still something for everybody. Jen, how are you? Happy Tuesday. Alrighty guys, thank you for joining nice and early. I'm gonna go ahead and go through our op opening spiel of a deal and then we're gonna get right into it for today. So first and foremost, anything that is purchased during the live show today will promptly be shipping out of New York City tomorrow. We accept all major forms of payment here at Luxury Promise, so credit cards, debit cards, Apple Pay, and PayPal are all good to go, but pro tip that Apple Pay is the quickest way to check out. Also, since there are, not yet, Jen, <laughs> since there are um, some higher end pieces in today's show, I do just want to briefly mention that you guys can still check out and use split it when you check out if you do want to pay in a monthly payment plan split it is the way to go asthma thank you so much my shirt is my favorite favorite designer marine sarah i adore everything marine sarah and my dress was actually a gift from an old co-worker at my last job which shout out to him he definitely knew my vibe <laughs> lauren how are you rb how are you all right and then the last thing you guys is shipping so if you guys are in north america so my usa and canada friends Shipping will be cheaper for you since I am also here in North America. So for you guys, amazing asthma, you have good taste. The girls that know Marine Sarah are my favorite kind of girlies. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so North American customers, 15 pounds for shipping and it's quick. It's easy breezy. You'll get your items within the week. And if you guys are outside of North America, you are my international friends. So for you guys, shipping will be 35 pounds. However, if you purchase during the live show, Luxury Promise does cover your customs and your duties, which is a huge perk to take advantage of. So I think I'm going to kind of alternate. I'll do jewelry watch, jewelry watch until we probably reach a point where I have one of either left. <laughs> so I think that's how we're going to work it through. I'm going to start with an early bird deal as I like to do. Let me just get all of these pieces out of here. Sorry guys, I was on a major time crunch today, so I did not prep to my fullest capabilities, but that's okay. We will roll with it, make it work as I like to do. There we go. Okay, so we're going to start with a cute, easy little piece. Isabel, this is going to be our 18 karat yellow gold and sterling silver Tiffany & Co. hook bracelet. It kind of looks like Hermes. You'll see it in the collection, but it is a bracelet from Tiffany. Let me get her out of here. Really cute. I've actually never had something like this in from Tiffany. I really did think it was Hermes at a first glance. I was like, wait, that's Tiffany? So it's a mixed metal little cuff. I'm going to flip the camera so you guys can see in better detail. But look how cute this is. So you have a wider, I don't want to say super wide, it's probably a little bit slimmer than a Cartier Love bracelet would be, but a really nice smooth sterling silver cuff. And then to the front here you see these two accent loop details and of course the o-ring in the center and that is done in 18 karat yellow gold so a little bit of a higher end piece from tiffany it's in a gorgeous condition level it's free of any tarnish or scratching really cute let me know what you guys think i think it looks like hermes let me know if you see the vision or am i 
the Lulu, let me know. But the closure clasp is actually part of the main design. So you just kind of pinch up to get it open and then you can get it on your that way. So let me show what it looks like on. Do, 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 and see if I can clasp this myself. That's always the test there. Okay, you don't need a friend to help you put your bracelet on. Went on, no, Bon Bon, I'm serious, girlfriend. It's a good one. So that is how it looks on. It's really stackable friendly. I think this is super cute, very unique for Tiffany & Co. Again, I've never seen anything like this. I believe the retail is more around 400 US dollars, right, Vicky? Okay, I'm glad you guys see what I'm talking about. Like from afar, it's giving Hermes, but it's not, but it's so cute. I love her. This is a piece you could keep on, not worry about it. Really, really cute. So it's just coming as is, that is factored into the price point. I feel like this could work for up to maybe a seven and a half inch wrist. I have a lot of room in it, but it is designed in more of an oval shape versus a circle. So it kind of, it won't like fully flip around as you wear it, which I appreciate. So yeah, this is a crazy steal, you guys. 180 pounds is our price today. And that is roughly 200 and we'll round up 24 US dollars. Honestly, I agree, Bon Bon. I prefer this to a click clack. It's easier to style every single day. It's a bit more comfortable. I just really like this. I'm a big fan of her early bird special run don't walk you guys it's a crazy deal for a really nice quality piece of jewelry that will last from tiffany all right so with that let's move into our first watch of the day yeah it looks really good on a stack okay let's see how am i going to stay organized here okay i'm gonna put the stuff that i've done on this handy dandy shelf behind me <laughs> that seems like a good idea so what watch do i want to kick things off with today Day. I'm gonna go here. All right, so Isabel, we're gonna bring out the Chopard Happy Sport. It's the all white model with diamonds. You guys are going to die if I have any Chopard lovers in the house today. Um, you're gonna be happy in this show. I can just, I can tell you that much. I have some really great Chopard watches pulled. This first one is a stunner. It's honestly, it kind of is giving me bridal vibes in a good way, but it's our Happy Sport 278943 Woman's Watch. It's an 18 karat stainless steel and white gold before I touch it. Well, let me get my gloves on. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done a watch show. I'm kind of out of my flow, so forgive me. <laughs> All right, this is absolutely stunning. If you wear a lot of white, if you're a white gold silver kind of girl, this is a great option. So I'm gonna flip the camera while I talk us through, but I'm just ooing and aahing at this. Okay, here we go. Look at her. Farah, how are you? I'm so happy my voice is back too. I hope you've had a great weekend and that you're doing well, my love. Look at this. This is so, so pretty. So I'm gonna talk you through, then I'll show in better details, you guys. So this piece is coming with its original box and papers from Chopard. Um, you have a off-white face that actually, the face of the watch, if you guys can see, is covered in little snowflakes. This is like the cutest Aspen ski trip vibe kind of watch I've seen. So you have all these cutie little snowflakes. All, look at this diamond. So in the diamonds themselves, you have three loose like singular diamonds, but then you have this cluster of diamonds that's meant to look like a snowflake. So all four of these will just kind of float around in the face of the watch. I wish I had had this more around Christmas time. Would have made a great Christmas present, but I still think it's darling regardless. So it's stainless steel for your metal. This is water resistant up to 30 feet. The case width on this is 33 millimeters. It has its original white, um, is this full on crocodile? I think so. Yeah, crocodile leather strap, original Chopard, original buckle over here. Um, the band length on this works for up to seven inches, but of course it is adjustable. Um, alligator bracelet, yes, not crocodile. Um, diamond bezel on this, and this is a quartz battery movement. So I'm going to show you guys the back of the watch. This one's pristine. It still has its seals on the back side. Just really, really lovely. So our first watch of the day, I'll flip it this way so you guys can see it in this light as well. Just clean, sleek white watch and then on the wrist just for an idea of the size that is what she is giving i love the snowflake so much 
so this bonbon yeah, bon, you are such a like well of knowledge i always love <laughs> what you say in the chat on my shows so this piece is up and available again a great price on this this is 5285 pounds and that is 6574 us dollars for this bad boy so let me know if there's any questions we have a lot more watches to come so if the white's not your vibe fret not <laughs> but i am going to bounce back to jewelry before we bring out our next watch all right watches are done on the other shelf perfect all right what jewelry do i want to bring out next i have a lot of really cool vulgari pieces also if you guys were on my last <laughs> my last jewelry show i had a really cool roberto coin cuff and i got some feedback that you guys are interested to see more roberto coin pieces in the future so i did manage to get my hands on a stunning roberto coin um choker necklace that i'll bring out in a little bit but first we are going to do a ring from Volgari, Isabel. It's our 18 karat yellow gold Volgari B01 Eternity Ring. And this is with diamonds. So this has 0.45 total carat weight of diamonds. Let me just check on the size real quick. But you guys know, in my shows, I honestly struggle to get yellow gold Volgari rings in. Like, white gold all day, every day. I always have in stock. Always have multiple sizes. All those good things. Yellow gold is a struggle. So this one is a um, mark size 49. This retails for 6050 US dollars. As far as the sizing goes, if you are more accustomed to US sizes, this is going to be a US size 5. It's so pretty. So it is the B0 single band version, but in the center, you have diamonds all the way around. So let me flip to show you guys how pretty she is. I love this. So of course you're getting the classic Volgari house signature engraved into the 18 karat yellow gold on both sides of the ring. Single band model, so you have full diamonds throughout. So pretty. So it's a US size 5, so that usually works on my ring finger. There we go. This is a piece I would absolutely live in. It's right up my alley as far as what I like in jewelry, my style preferences, and a good comfort factor. So that's kind of how she looks on the fingers, you guys. Isn't it cute? I love that it's a little less, like, looking at it from a front, just because it is a little bit more simplified. You wouldn't instantly be like, oh, a B0 ring, but then you just have that little pop of the Volgari branding. So it's a little bit more quiet, really classic though. And then just paired with my engagement ring. Honestly, kind of a killer stack, not going to lie. I'm here for it. I would absolutely wear this stack. But also, ladies, just treat yourself. Just wear it on your own. So good. So it's in excellent condition. It is just coming as is. So that also has been factored into the price. But some serious, serious savings on this. So we'll get the price up momentarily for you guys. But again, as a reminder, this retails from Bulgari for 6,050 US dollars, okay? So I literally have blessed you with thousands of dollars of savings on this. <laughs> I have it available. Vicky, you no, know, I know. I wish I had more of this. This is like the only yellow gold Bulgari ring I currently have, which is crazy. Um, not in today's show, Luna, but I do have some in stock, so I would say shoot me an email, and then I can show you pictures of some items I have that might be along the lines of what you are looking for, or I can bring them on my jewelry show this upcoming Saturday. All right, so this ring I have is 3,520 pounds, and that is roughly 4,377 US dollars, and that is her. All right, guys, we have some really good pieces today. All right, let's do another watch. Let's do a different brand this time. Let's see. Ooh, should I just go for it and bring out the Patek? I'm going for it. I'm bringing out the Patek. Why not? <laughs> Absolutely, Vicky, of course. All right, so up next, I'm going to bring out a Patek Philippe Neptune in 18 karat yellow gold. You guys are not ready for this. This is a major, major watch coming up next. 
So the full name, it's the Neptune 4881-10J Woman's Watch. I know, is that this one is so good. This is like my favorite. Personally, like I appreciate Patek. I love Patek. But as far as my personal style goes, I haven't often had pieces in where I was like, yeah, I could see myself wearing that every day just because I am such a yellow gold kind of daintier style type of gal with my jewelry. But this Patek is a different story. This is right up what I would want. Um, okay, here we go. This is crazy. Just unwrap her. Oh my gosh. Everything about this is wow. You guys. Okay, let me flip. Look at this situation we have cooking up on screen. So again, the Neptune Women's Watch, excellent condition, recently serviced, fully factory original. This is a more premium piece, you guys, but again, it is still well below its retail. Um, so this features 36 diamonds around the face of the watch. As you can clearly see, they're not small. So you get 36 diamonds and that equates out to 1.03 carats. So a little over a full carat of diamonds on this. Absolutely incredible. Not coming with its original box, but it is coming with its original papers. So of course we have a round case shape on this with a nice clean white face. Diamonds on your dial markers, little date over here, and just the clean Patek Philippe signature front and center has a diamond bezel full solid 18 karat yellow gold i love the style of the um band on this piece it's just everything about this is spectacular it's a quartz battery movement you have a 26 millimeter case with so a little on the smaller side but honestly 26 up to 30 is kind of my preferred range which is really classy and elegant um and this is also so water resistant up to 30 feet so just let you guys soak her up i will unclasp and show you the back of the watch very gently it's pretty much like holding a car in my hand <laughs> all right so unclasped looks a little something like this exactly what Isa is saying Patek is it in the watch world you know you've made it when you have a Patek on your wrist look at her oh this is killing me this is literally like my dream Patek piece it's just beyond 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 that is crazy yeah far more exclusive you kind of got to be somebody if you're gonna get a retail Patek watch you gotta be somebody you gotta build that relationship they only make 60,000 a year globally you guys that is nothing in the grand scheme of things they could make more and sell out of it but they don't if they just stay true to their heritage to their just high standards just everything Patek is it so this piece is more premium but still if you know you know I encourage you to do your research Look out there on the market because this is a good competitive price for this piece. So our Neptune Woman's Watch from Patek Philippe is up and available for £18,650. And that is roughly $23,192 US dollars. So that is her. You guys, how is that Tiffany bracelet still here? I'm sorry. What? <laughs> I'm going to wrap her up. Let me know if there's any questions so far, you guys, and then I'll bring out another piece of jewelry up next. Do, 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 do. All right, keep her safe, snug as a bug in her little case. Oop. All right, I have to bring out this Roberto coin choker next since I kind of teased it. Again, Roberto Coin to me, it's still a brand that I'm kind of testing the waters on. I feel like I got a lot of you guys more acquainted with and used to and ultimately loving David Yearman. So I'm kind of trying to push Roberto Coin on you guys in the same fashion because they're kind of on the same playing grounds, I would say. So up next, I have a killer 18 karat. So this is pretty high end, you guys. 18 karat yellow gold Roberto Coin 
Pla Moi Choker Necklace. This features 0.08 total carat weight of diamonds set as a station on the choker. So this is a structured choker. This is stunning. Stunning. You guys, look at this. This is literally like a work of art. This paired with that Patek watch, chef's kiss, a whole vision, a whole vision. But this is a solid structured 18 karat yellow gold choker a la Cleopatra vibes is what I'm picking up off of this. But you can see off center to the front, you have kind of like a square cut out with some little micro pave diamonds set in there for a really subtle but beautiful effective effective touch of bling so it also has these interesting little rivets throughout the choker that's just gonna allow the light to catch in different ways give off a cool textured effect and then up here at the top is how you get in and out so i'll show you guys in detail with the camera flipped first so here is how the front of this choker sits this is stunning this reminds me of something that sabrina would wear like just something about a structured choker i feel like we don't see them enough and i feel like they are genuinely draw dropping every time that i see someone wear one so that's kind of a detailed look a little bit better of a camera so let me show what this looks like on so to get in and out you just push down and it will open up like a hinge I'm not going to clasp it so I don't get myself stuck in it, but roughly. Oh. <laughs> it is so pretty. So, so pretty. Wow. Again, not the best shirt to demonstrate, but wow. <laughs> Literally bonbon. Like, ugh, this is just your one-stop shop if you need a more formal piece of jewelry for a night out, for dinners, for events, whatever it is. Having something like this on hand, you don't really have to think too much about it. It looks perfect standalone. You don't need to build a stack around it. It just speaks for itself. So good. I agree, Vicky. Okay. So again, it's honestly a great deal. Again, I'm trying to kind of get you guys used to Roberto Coin. Similar to David Yearman, I would say sometimes a little bit more in the premium realm. Not that David Yearman's not, of course. But this choker retails for 9,500 US dollars, you guys. I have it in my hands in excellent condition for just 4,475 pounds, literally bonbon. And again, you figure this is all solid 18 karat yellow gold. Like the cost per material is really low in retrospect on this. In US dollars, this is 5,566 US dollars. So no joke, by the time you pay tax on this, you're pretty much saving yourself 4,000 US dollars on this choker right now which is crazy so i want you guys do your research get acquainted with roberto coin because i think their pieces are phenomenal i'm a big big fan and i will definitely be bringing more from the brand in the future in my jewelry shows so keep your eyes out i have more to come but i had to bring a really wow wow piece okay let's go back to watches <laughs> literally just melt it down and you already have a profit <laughs> that's funny okay i'm gonna bring um i'm gonna do back-to-back -back watches up next i don't bring this brand often but i just so happen to get the same model in two different hardwares and they're really good price points so these are i think my lowest end prices of watches today but they are absolutely stunning so i'm gonna start with the stainless steel one let me pull this up real quick. Three, four. There we go. Okay, so Isabel, this is the Bertolucci Pultra 08341A woman's watch in stainless steel. So let me know if I have any Bertolucci fans in the house. And if you'd like to see more Bertolucci in the future, I do have quite a lot of options for watches from the brand. I just haven't really brought them before. Because again, I'm getting to know your guys' taste, what brands you like. So let me bring this one out. I think this is stunning, actually. Wow. Okay. Me to every watch. Stunning. <laughs> So here she is in all her glory. Again, I guess I was feeling kind of more dainty feminine vibes for watches today, but this is the Pultra 
08341A Women's Watch. This one is done in stainless steel, excellent condition, recently serviced, fully factory original. This is coming with its original box, but not its papers. So we have the box with this one. It has a round case with a white, almost more like a mother of pearl face. You can see how it's capturing the light with like that pastel-y rainbow hue. So I would say more like a mother of pearl face. Um, this is full stainless steel for your hardware, water resistant up to 30 feet. Again, coming with the box, this is the smallest case size I have today, I believe. So this is a 25 millimeter case width. Um, it has a flip lock style clasp with the B for Bertolucci to the back there. Again, this is a steel of a deal, you guys. Um, the dial markers are all diamonds. You have diamonds around the face of the watch. The band length is measuring in at 6.75 inches. Excellent condition and also a quartz battery movement. I love the style of the band on this. It's giving more fine jewelry vibes to me almost like i feel like this would pair where pair well with anything from the tiffany hardware line do you guys see the vision all right i'll flip you back take one look at it this way as well and i am going to throw her on the wrist so easy to get on and off as a little button to the side there all right then on the wrist looks a little something like so. So this is a steal of a deal on this, considering the diamonds and just everything, and it's really pretty on top of it. So our first Pultra from Bertolucci is up and available for just 1,465 pounds, and that is 1,822 US dollars. So that is her, I'm gonna put her back and then I have the same watch, but in a different hardware. Up next. <laughs> and then we'll go back into some jewelry. All right. So up next, I feel like this is, if you like the look of the Patek, but you're not quite ready for a Patek price point, you can get the look for less with this next watch, I would say. So this is going to be the same watch but the yellow gold one isabel um let me just pull up the info so another pultra but this is the 111. oh wait dot 8055.68 women's watch this one is in solid 18 karat yellow gold so if you like that style but you're a yellow gold girly this is for you but also there will be a price jump just based on the materials of course so let me get this out. It'd be cute if you have like a sister or a daughter, if one of you guys had the yellow gold and the other had the stainless steel for a little twinsy moment, iconic. But here is the same watch in yellow gold. Flip the camera for you guys so you can kind of see what I mean. It's pretty close to the vibe of the Patek Philippe. Um, this one is vintage. So again, this is also 25 millimeter case width. However, this one, it's advised that this is not water resistant just due to its age. Just a risk I wouldn't recommend taking. The last one was confirmed up to 30 feet, but this one I would just be a bit more careful with. Um, this one is coming with its original instructions and papers, but not the box. Um, same exact style though. Actually, no, it's different. You have a different style little clasp to the back. So the B is off center, so it looks like a seamless um, band on this watch, measuring in at six and a half inches, excellent condition with a quartz battery movement and a mother of pearl face with the diamonds around. Yay, we love a history moment give us the history. <laughs> so I'll throw this on while Isa cooks up a history lesson for us, which I love. All right. And there she is. Really pretty. Let's see. Pebbled beaches. Oh, that definitely makes sense. Slay! Thank you, Isa. 
These do look like little pebbles. I see it. I see the vision. I see the design inspo. Love. Cute. Alrighty, guys. So the yellow gold version of the Pultra is up and available for £4,985. That is US dollars. Again, looking at it, I feel like today we're comparing stuff to Cartier bracelets. So if you compare it, if you have the perspective that just like a love bracelet or just include bracelet, standard one, retail is in the same ballpark, if not a little bit more for just your Cartier bracelets, okay? And that's a heck of a lot less gold. You're not getting any time piece out of it. You're not getting diamonds. You're not getting mother of pearl. So this, honestly, the pricing is, again, cost of material is relatively very low on this piece, all things considered. The fact that this is cheaper than like your Just Uncle bracelet, it's a good perspective to have of where your dollars are going, what you're getting out of your dollars, and which is the wiser investment. Spoiler alert, I would say that this is the wiser investment. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to put this back. We'll bring out some more jewelry next. And still lots more jewels and watches to come. But I hope you guys are enjoying so far. It's really nice to have my voice back. I feel like I'm getting my groove back. <laughs> Gosh, March was a rough month for me, guys. March into April. Just could not stop being sick. But we're finally over it. AP, how are you, lovely? Happy Tuesday. Welcome on in. All right. Let's keep moving and grooving. Which jewels shall I bring out next? Let's do... Okay, I have another Volgari ring. Mark size 54. Okay. Did I just lose connection? I think I'm back. I don't know what just happened there. But okay. Anyways, this features 0.48 carat of diamonds and is coming with its original Volgari pouch. Did I? Okay, weird. I think I'm back. I saw that it said I'm live again. I was like, huh? <laughs> okay. Here we go. Let me. I feel like this has to be like a six. Let me look up a ring size chart. 54 to US. Um, okay, yeah, right? 54 is a 7, I believe. Let's see, 54. Yes, okay, good. This is a size 7, US 7, you guys. So this might be a better option for a few of you out there. Size 7. White gold, it's the same as the yellow gold version I showed earlier, just in a different hardware. So let me flip the camera to show y'all but this is a good option but vicky if you are a ride or die yellow gold girly no worries i get it because me too <laughs> but this is that same ring in a u.s size 7 but in white gold so you have the diamonds all the way around again just shy Ooh, i love that vision is uh yes just shy of half of a carrot and again on both sides of the ring you have the vulgari logo so this is also in an excellent excellent condition level coming with its pouch u.s size seven on this bad boy it is pinned for these smaller pieces of course i'm going to encourage you guys to take a look at the um additional images and details by clicking below got you vicky i will keep my eyes open for yellow gold it'll probably take a little while for one in that size to come in so just in case as a backup this size works at least we got this going for us you know <laughs> so again this piece retails for six thousand four hundred and fifty us dollars you guys six thousand four hundred and fifty i'm like half price i'm like below half price this is 50 percent lower than retail a little above that that is crazy so i have it available today 
It is 2,515 pounds, and that is roughly 3,126 US dollars. So honestly, a really, really good deal to think about. Um, anyone, she's up for grabs. That is her. That's a goodie. Yeah, I will, I will do my best, Vicky. <laughs> All right. So let's do another watch. But which one should we do? I don't know where I want to go. Ooh, okay. I know where I'm going. This is a brand new watch. Well below retail. Well, well, well. <laughs> One on. All right, so Isabel up next is going to be our brand new Chopard Classic 119392-5001 Women's Watch in 18 karat rose gold. 18 karat rose gold. You guys, this is a goodie. This retails for 17,500 US dollars and this piece is confirmed brand new. It has never actually been worn before, okay? So I can say that it is unworn, kept pristine. Let me bring her out. Also, I don't think I've had a rose gold Chopard watch before. So I'm just all around very excited about this one and it is absolutely stunning. So this has been kept pristine. It is from the year 2021, so it was purchased in 2021, but kept pristine since then. However, it is just coming as is. So I don't know the full story behind this watch, but that's how it was bought in. That's how she's coming, but she has not been worn, you guys. So let me flip the camera. So good, so good. So this is a 26 millimeter case again i'm obsessed with the simplicity of this piece oh does it okay i'll have to check i don't know why it would say oh i think it might okay i'll double check but if it has it in the pictures and that means it like 99 percent sure it should be here <laughs> i think that's just an error in the description so i will confirm if anyone gets this we can hold off on shipping until i fully fully confirm Lauren, I don't have any new Hermes watches, unfortunately, right now. Let me, I can bring some on Saturday though, for sure. Okay, so 26 millimeter case width on this bad boy with a butterfly style clasp to the back with the Chopin signature subtly put in there. This is measuring in for a 6.75 inch wrist. I do have a vintage Patek Philippe today and some Rolexes, but not vintage heavy today, unfortunately. Um, this is obviously pristine condition. It is solid 18 karat rose gold with a quartz battery movement, you guys. Again, this retails for 17,500 US dollars. Um, it is quite slim. It's just five millimeters for the height of the watch. So it's gonna sit really nicely on the wrist. Um, it is not water resistant so do keep that in mind but it is just stunning i love a simple watch like this simple but definitely packs a punch definitely still a full statement i would say so let me get this on the wrist just so we can get an idea oh my gosh she is, i love this band again i love when bands look a little bit more like jewelry so here's how this looks on the wrist and even if you don't wear a rose gold stack if you wear yellow gold it still looks really beautiful next to yellow gold i don't mind it at all i personally do enjoy rose gold and yellow gold together but that's just an idea of her on the wrist so i have it available today again a great discount compared to its retail price so this is up and available for eight thousand three hundred and eighty five pounds and that is ten thousand four hundred and twenty one US dollars. So let me know if there's any questions. We'll keep moving. I'm going to follow it with a rose gold jewelry piece up next, I think. Oops, I forgot to wrap her. All right. And there we go. I do not play with keeping these watches safe and sound when they're not being shown, you guys. <laughs> Honestly. 
All right. There we go. What is next? Let's take a look. Up next, I'm gonna bring you guys our 18 karat rose gold Hermes chain d'encre contour pendant large model necklace. This features 0.30 total karat weight of diamonds and is coming with its original Hermes box and certificate of authenticity. Price below retail, you guys. First time I've had this in the large model and I'm obsessed. So good. I always suck at pronouncing the word. Laray? Larier? But it's that style of necklace, if you will. Oh, so good. So, so good. Here she is. Front view. Look at the size of this chain d'encre pendant, you guys. I'm gonna flip the camera. This is in solid 18 karat rose gold. You have the T-bar closure. That's where you're going to find your Hermes house stamping. <laughs> I know, RV. But that's also a design feature. Dangling down from that is your beautiful chain d'encre pendant fully covered in diamonds. So again, that is 0.30 total carat weight. The back of the pendant is just going to be solid 18 karat rose gold. But you can see my favorite feature of this is the chain of the necklace itself is made up of a series of micro mini little chain donkras so full on motifed out to the max absolutely stunning again coming with its box and certificate of authenticity so let me throw this on let's get an idea let's let's see the vibes what is she giving <laughs> So easy on and off, as you could probably guess. <laughs> oh, I put it on backwards, so I'm going to hold it so you guys can see the diamonds. But that's kind of an idea of the vibe here. So definitely a larger pendant, especially for Hermes. But it is so, so pretty. And again, I like that this is a piece that you can dress up, dress down. It would look just as good with a t-shirt and jeans as it would with a fancy dress. So it kind of matches all occasions always. Solid 18 karat rose gold, pristine condition, box certificate of authenticity is included. And I have this up and available for 3,995 pounds. And that is roughly 4,967 US dollars. So good. All right, let's do another watch up next. This next watch is a shout out to all my fellow pink girlies, pink lovers. I feel like pink is, not that it's having a comeback, because she never left. She's always been that girl. Pink is the best color, not that I'm biased. But I feel like right now there's been a big spike that we've seen at Luxury Promise <clears throat> with popularity and demand for pink anything. Literally anything. If it's pink, the demand is going up. So just FYI, I'm going to take a quick sip of water. Gosh, now that it's warm in NYC, I'm like not used to it. So sorry if I start turning red, you guys. It's getting warm in here. <laughs> okay, so up next is that this going to be our pink face Rolex Oyster Perpetual, aka the it girl of the day, as far as I'm concerned for watches. Oops. All right, let me glove up. Here we go. Let me get her out of here. All right, let me just see. Okay, this is from 2021. Flip and talk you guys through this piece, but it's the Oyster Perpetual 34 124200 Woman's Watch. This one is done <clears throat> in stainless steel. So, excellent condition, recently serviced, fully factory original. And this is coming as a full set, you guys. So, you're getting the box 
papers and instructions included with this piece which helps retain its value this is a very very high demand highly sought after watch from rolex that is admittedly a little bit hard to get your hands on if you do try to get it via retail pink dial is everything it's my favorite so this is a 34 millimeter case width on this piece coming with a classic rolex flip style clasp to the back this is currently measuring in for the band at seven inches oh my god my glove is ripped oh no okay note to self i need a new glove but seven inches on this with a smooth bezel it's an automatic kinetic movement again this is from 2021 um and this is water resistant up to 100 feet so this piece does command a premium in its price point you guys it's kind of more along the lines as our beloved hermes bags where yes retail price is lower but can you just walk in and get this watch retail 9.9 .9 out of 10 times the answer will be no that's just the way it goes there is a similar game in rolex as there is with hermes where you can't just kind of place orders willy-nilly and as soon as these hit the pre-loved market the price does go up so these do go up in value out of the door just because the demand is so hot it is there so that is my little blip about that you guys i'm gonna throw it on my wrist if i can open it why am i struggling <laughs> okay Come on, Laura, you can do it. There we go. <laughs> like, there, okay. Sometimes you just need to give yourself a pep talk, then you can do it. So this is how this looks on the wrist. This is literally like the dreamiest cool girl watch to have. It's still edgy, it still has that masculine vibe to it, but then the pink offsets that, just the way it catches the light too is beyond gorgeous you guys so our oyster perpetual um 34 millimeter is up she is available for six thousand nine hundred and ninety five pounds that is eight thousand six hundred and ninety seven us dollars let me know if there are any questions keep us moving do some more jewelry up next bring out another piece from bulgari next i think Oh. All right, Isabel, while I'm putting this away, up next we're going to do the 18 karat white gold Volgari B0 bracelet with diamonds. So if you want something to match that ring that I showed earlier, this is the perfect candidate to do so. So this bracelet features 1.25 carats of diamonds, one and a fourth total carat weight of diamonds. Hi Mary, happy Tuesday. No auctions today, unfortunately. What could I do? I could probably do a couple auctions on Thursday though. Did not plan for one today, but Thursday I could probably bring like, um, let's call it one or two. We'll see. Maybe I'll do three, but I'll have to look. <laughs> okay. So, let me show you guys this gorgeous, gorgeous Volgari B0 bracelet with diamonds. Okay. So, here is a look at her from the B0 range, which we know and love. 18 carats white gold. Isn't this nice? So, you have this on both sides. They're so good. I know. I love them stacked next to love bracelets. All right, so those are your two sides, but then in between the bracelet, look at all of these diamonds, you guys. That is the hinge. This is a hinge style opening and closing, but all the way around we have diamonds and it's just gorgeous. So this side of the bracelet is how you get in and out. You just push down and it unclasps like so. So it's actually quite easy to get on and off. <laughs> bon, bon. and you can see the design of it it's set to have an open to the interior to allow the light to travel through the diamonds beautifully 
and to give you all the more fire and sparkle. I'm gonna flip the camera to show you on the wrist. Clips on and boom. Like she is serious business, you guys. She is that girl. Let me see if there's a marked size on this. Let's see here. So this is ideal for a six and a half inch wrist. Ideal for a six and a half inch wrist. And again, you guys, thousands of dollars of savings. Not just saying that, that is reality. This retails for 15,000 US dollars should you go and buy it direct from Bulgari. I don't play that. No way. No way, Jose. So I'm saving you guys thousands on this piece. It is up and available. I feel like this would work if you're like a Cartier 17 or 18. I feel like this is within that size range. I know Vicky with the ring. It's a whole moment. So good. Could not agree more, Bon Bon. So this Volgari B0 18 karat white gold bracelet with 1.23 carats of diamonds is up and available for 8,645 pounds. That is 10,747 US dollars. So again, I definitely admittedly went a little high end in this show, but I made sure to still bring the savings with these pieces for you guys. But I just wanted to kind of hit the week with a bang. So that is her. Do another watch next. But the question is, which watch to do? All right. I'm gonna bring out our vintage Patek Philippe. Let's do that. Let's switch it up a little. Keep you guys on your toes. Isabel, this is the Patek Philippe Gondolo 3362 Women's Watch in 18 karat yellow gold. Get my glove. All right, this is really pretty, really dainty, but really classic. Flip the camera to talk you guys through her. Voila, look at her. I love this vibe. This is very me, very my vibe as well. Um, so I do have to call out that this is coming with a generic strap and buckle. So it's just the original watch to the center here, but that is because this is a vintage piece. I don't know the exact year. I can try to find out, but I'm not sure if we'll be able to know exactly. Um, but let me talk you guys through. So this is a 20 millimeter rectangular shaped case. Um, so the width is 20 millimeters. <laughs> rectangular shape. It is known as a gondolo. Um, this is six millimeters high. So again, a little bit more on the flatter side won't stick out and be in your way quite as much 18 karat yellow gold solid for this watch with a mineral crystal this is a mechanical hand winding movement on this the face color is known as champagne um, the dial markers are stick the band length as it is currently measures for around six and a half inches so probably six to seven inches on this excellent condition with a smooth bezel and the strap that we are giving you with this piece is Crocodile. Here you guys, a 360 look. Then I will show it against the wrist. Mm -hmm. All right. This would be like a really great work watch, just casual daytime elegance, I would say. <laughs> All right, so on the wrist, like imagine with a black blazer, gold jewelry, you guys can see the vision. It's very French girl chic, getting Parisian vibes from this. All right, so our Patek Philippe Gondolo Woman's Watch 18 karat yellow gold is up and available for 6,260 pounds, and that is roughly 7,782. US dollars and the pictures will show when you click on it guys sometimes there's just a little glitch for some reason but there are full pictures of this watch there for you to take a peek at 
All right, turning out some more jewels up next. Ooh, I have some crazy rings. I have such good jewelry today, not gonna lie. Oh my God, I don't even, I probably can't even guess how much it sold for. Cause if I'm thinking about like Hermes auctions and other brand auctions, it, get, it gets crazy. So I can only imagine could buy probably multiple, multiple, multiple houses with whatever it sold for. <laughs> okay, let's bring out a crazy ring. Let's do something crazy. Let's see. Okay, a little something unexpected from Vulgari up next. Um, I don't have any ceramic options currently, unfortunately, and today it's just the single band with diamonds that I have, but I don't have any ceramics. You guys have sold me out of all the ceramic options we had, so I'm patiently waiting to get some more in is where we're at currently. Um, okay, so up next is going to be our 18 karat white gold Volgari Diva's Dream, which like slay, iconic name, Diva's Dream en tremblant pavé diamond ring let me this is 1.85 carats of diamonds set into this ring you guys um it's a us 6.25 for your size and it is coming with its original box this retail price is crazy this retails for 18,000 us dollars again bulgari does not play with their retail pricing i can tell you that much so this is definitely a premium premium high end ring i don't have any serpenti bang actually i have one susan but it is a size large but it's 18 karat white gold it's not in today's show but that is currently the only serpenti bangle that i have oh my god this ring is insane 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 are you guys ready it's gonna be a jump scare with how crazy this is boom boom do you see this? <laughs> this is a beautiful, this is like a sculptural work of art more so than a ring, but it's designed to kind of look like a flower, but in a more kind of abstract take. So you have a larger center stone. Roughly eyeballing it, the center stone to me looks like maybe like a fourth of a carat or 0.25 carats, roughly around there for your center stone. But then you have two different layers of these three-dimensional petals, which are encrusted with Vulgari diamonds throughout. This is crazy, crazy cool, you guys. My pleasure, Susan. Again, for a US size 6.25. I mean, this is something you're going to notice from well across the room, if not well across the street makes my engagement ring look puny <laughs> it's crazy like literally watch me back all the way up don't even notice my ring but you still notice this bad boy okay <laughs> this is a serious serious business so definitely would encourage taking a look at the images of this but i could tell you looking at it in person the sparkle is out of this world. It is blinding. I'm obsessed with the structural shape of the ring. And the petals do actually have movement too. They do move. Don't worry, they are not loose. They are designed to kind of move organically and have a little flutter effect to them as you wave your hands around, which I think is really cool. So again, this is roughly, roughly around a little over $2,000 below retail. Um, I just had to bring it. I think it is absolutely spectacular. Something we don't see every day from Bulgari. So this piece is up and available for 12,800. Thank you, Vicky. <laughs> and 95 pounds. And that would be 16,032 US dollars. I mean, admittedly, I could not live my day-to-day -day life with this ring on, especially because I'm the type of girly, I sleep with my hands against my head most of the time. So this would leave like an indent in my face, okay? She is more of a evening event ring for me personally y'all if you want to wear this ring every day by all means do so and i will support you i will have your back on that but me personally i could not probably live my day-to-day -day life with a ring of this magnitude she's serious so that is her okay <laughs> that was a fun one let's bring out another chopar ring. uh not ring chopar watch up next
right, let me get the name for you, Isa. So up next, we're going to bring out the Chopar Happy Sport 27-8236-3005 Women's Watch in Stainless Steel. So again, a little bit more classic from Chopar um, for a killer price point. Okay, this next watch retails for $8,960 US dollars. Again, we are well, well, well below that. Let me bring her out. And this is actually vintage. This is for my birth year. I'm about to age myself, but this is a circa 1999 watch, you guys. 1999. Okay, let me flip it. So here is our classic cutie vintage Happy Sport from Chopar. This is coming with its original papers, but not its box. It's a 32 millimeter case width on this with a butterfly style clasp to the back with the C for Chopar there. Again, you get this really cute bubble style band with the watch. Um, this is in an excellent condition level. It is a six and a half inch band length currently as it is smooth bezel. Of course, it's stainless steel with a quartz battery movement. Again, this retails for $8,960 US dollars. It has just a clean, classic white face with just four Roman numerals for your um, hour markers. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven little quote unquote happy diamonds that are going to move around freely as you wear the watch, part of this range from Chopar. Um, it's eight millimeters high oh bonbon bon. that's a great first one to go for it's just i love it you made an excellent choice um this is water resistant up to 30 feet and again you guys we're literally like just shy of being half off of retail for this piece prices are killer today so i'm going to throw this on the wrist not literally i'm going to delicately open her and place her on my wrist is more like it if i can open it there we go <laughs> so once this is on the wrist looks a little something like so really clean very sophisticated and classic and that is her yep crazy 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 good deal so she is up and available today through Luxury Promise for the real, oh my god, yeah, no, <laughs> no, go pre-loved people, save your coin so you can get more things for what you would spend, just retail. Ugh. Okay, this is just 3,675 pounds, you guys, that is 4,569 US dollars, killer, killer deal for a killer condition circa 1999 Chopar Happy Sport watch. That is her. Alrighty. I'm gonna put her away. Then I have more Volgari jewelry. I have Cartier. I have Louis Vuitton, David Yerman, um, more Volgari, and Hermes to come. We're getting close to the end of watches, just a few more jewelry pieces. Then we will call recaps. We still have a little bit of a ways to go, but I do want to show you guys all these pieces today. So you have options. They are all killer. Again, reminding you guys that my early bird special, that Tiffany bracelet is still available, which is blowing my mind. So do let me know if there's any questions, anything I can help with to maybe hopefully get some of these pieces into good loving homes today. That would be incredible. Okay. So up next, let's do my Louis Vuitton ring. I don't often get high jewelry from Louis Vuitton, but when I do, I get really excited about it. So this is going to be our 18 karat white gold Louis Vuitton star blossom ring. This features 0.30 carats of diamonds. It's a marked size 51 and it is coming with its box. So let me see if we have the US size. Negative, so let me look at my size chart. So a 51 is roughly, I think that's like a five and a half US size, five and a half US size, but I love Louis Vuitton jewelry, especially when it has diamonds. 
you guys know I'm ride or die LV girly, so I love having a subtle little glimpse of iconic Louis Vuitton motifs, and this ring is just that. So here she is, you're getting that really beautiful star blossom, so you have four quote unquote leaves with the little pearly um, white gold detail to the center there. This is fully encrusted in micro pave diamonds for the center motif as well as around the band on either sides. However, the micro paves do stop to the back, which I honestly prefer. I find it makes it a lot more comfortable. You're not going to risk losing these diamonds if they were on the back with heavy use. I just prefer my diamonds to stop on the sides. That's me. I want to know what you guys prefer. Do you prefer a full, full on eternity band or are you like me? Do you like it half C's? <laughs> I just find it to be a lot more comfortable. She's an everywhere kind of girl. Okay, Isa, speak your truth. Live your truth. <laughs> I can't do it, but I'm very weird about textures. I love that. I mean, yeah, I get it. I get it. I'm weird about textures. So if I feel anything that's like not smooth, when I close my hands, I'm not a happy camper. As much as I would love to go for more diamonds, that's just not me. But, oh, this is so good. It's so white and bright and sparkly from the front. I'll give you guys one more look from the back. You're full diamond girlies. Okay, good to know. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Here we go. That's my problem, but instead of silk... I'd be concerned about, I have a lot, okay, I like to layer, like, outside of work when I'm casual on the weekends or when I go to, like, music festivals or whatever it is, I wear a lot of fishnet, not in a weird way, but, like, I layer it, so I have, like, long sleeve fishnet shirts to wear under other shirts or dresses or long, or, like, fishnet tights, but when I tell you my ring is always catching on the fishnets and it always makes me so mad, so I feel the pain there. <laughs> All right, so... We'll get the price up momentarily. That is true. Diamonds are forever. Silk is whatever. <laughs> New quote from me to you guys. But there are additional images of this. It's excellent condition. Again, US size five and a half and a great deal below retail. Again, I did not come to play today. I wanted to give you guys some great deals. This ring is up and available for 3,050 pounds, which is roughly 3,792 US dollars from Louis Vuitton directly. This would run you 5,800 US dollars plus tax. So again, literally thousands of dollars of savings. So that is her. All right, we just have three more watches to go and then we will close out with jewelry. Thank you guys for hanging with me up until this point. I greatly appreciate your presence here. So up next, I'm going to bring out a classic piece. Let me see. So this is technically a men's piece up next, um, but it's vintage. So this is from 1990. Isabel, this is the Rolex Datejust 16238 men's watch in solid 18 karat yellow gold um so again this is 1990 let me glove up do, do, do. here we go okay so here we go let me flip the camera for you guys so this is in excellent condition, recently serviced for you guys. Again, I do have to point out the strap and buckle on this piece is generic. So just the watch itself is your original Rolex piece. Um, but it does look good together. I love a leather strap with a chunky, big Rolex watch. I think it looks really good. So um, this has been serviced. So the dial and the hands are more current they're not the original 1991 nine, or 1991s they have been serviced but they are original from rolex so round case with a fluted bezel on this piece it is 11.4 millimeters high so i think this might be our chunkiest watch of the day when you look at it from the side um solid 18 karat yellow gold on this it is water resistant up to 100 feet 36 millimeter case 
and the band is up to seven and a half inches so probably with the adjustability like you're looking at seven to eight inches on this with alligator for your leather this is a mechanical automatic kinetic movement and again from 1990. here is a look at the back there we go beautiful all right i'm going to flip you back to show you on the wrist Ooh, okay yeah if there's interest let us know i'll let isa take the reins we can do a price slash on this bad boy should there be any interest just holler dollar makes you holler or in this case holler to spend less dollar <laughs> all right but that is her. It is up and available, or I should say him, because it's a men's watch. <laughs> but this is 9,515 pounds, and that is 11,828 US. All right, so we have a few more pieces of jewelry to come at you guys. I'm gonna bring another crazy piece from Volgari. Up next, this is going to be 136411. 136411. Um, oh, <laughs> guys, my brain is starting to not work. Anyways, this is going to be our 18 karat rose gold Volgari Mother of Pearl Satwa necklace coming with its box. So again, kind of a higher end, less commonly seen piece of jewelry from Volgari. It's a longer necklace. You can wrap it or you can wear it as a single long chain. Zena, how are you? Happy Tuesday. Unfortunately, I don't have any um, Cartier Love bracelets today, but shoot me an email. Let me know what color of metal you're looking for and let me know your size. If I have it, I can bring it to you on Monday. I'm just going to send a quick message, you guys. Oh, it was on the 1990 Rolex. That's still, it's still pinned, the one that's pinned, Vicky. Okay, so, sorry, I just had to type a message, you guys. But this is a long 18 karat rose gold necklace from Volgari. It does feature Mother of Pearl as a stone inside of it. Show you guys with the camera flipped. So you have these open concept O-rings with the Volgari branding around. And then as you go down, so you have a clasp on this, which will allow you to wrap it multiple times. But as you go down, you get these smaller pendants that have beautiful slabs of mother of pearl to them. Again, you guys, I want to challenge you to think about the price of this piece. Let's say in comparison to maybe your VCA Alhambra necklaces. When you're really thinking about it, again, the materials are the same. Of course, you're paying for different craftsmanship and craftsman styles. However, your Alhambra Mother of Pearl necklace is costing you a pretty penny. And really, at the end of the day, you're just getting a single pendant like this on a more dainty 18 karat rose gold chain just to say to keep the materials the same whereas this bad boy you are getting a plethora of pendants so much solid 18 karat rose gold and so many different ways to wear it so when you think about it in that sense challenging you guys to think about pieces compared to other pieces just to kind of understand a good deal when you see one in regards to what you're paying for for the material so let's experiment with wrapping this around twice i have a giant head one thing about me is my head is like absurdly large uh, i feel like the average person you won't have to unclasp this to wrap it around multiple times but me with my big noggin i'm gonna have to unclasp it but i love the look of this piece wrapped up multiple times there we go so there she is on Z neck. Doubled up. I think it looks really pretty. Doubled up. Also, you can wrap it around your arm multiple times to wear it as a bracelet if you really, really wanted to. <laughs> bon Bon, if you guys think I'm lying, 
I should bring out some of my baby pictures. Even as a baby, my head, enormous. I look like a freak in my baby pictures. <laughs> but what can I say? I've got a, got a big brain, you know? <laughs> I think when I was like, honestly, when I was like five months old, I feel like I was wearing hats that were ideal for like three-year-olds. Like, <sighs> just absurdly large head. I can't even wear most of my fiance's hats because he wears like a marked size small in hats and I wear like a large. It's a hard life, people. <laughs> All right. Sarvulgari, Mother of Pearl, Satwa Necklace in 18 karat rose gold with Mother of Pearl is up and available for £8,710. And that is $10,827 US dollars. All right, we have two more watches and then one, two, three, four, five more pieces of jewelry. We are getting there, you guys. I'm going to go a little bit quicker for the rest of the show so that we have time for recaps. But let's bring out a really, really major Cartier watch up next. Let me get this up. Six, one, two. All right. So our next piece is our Cartier Ballon Bleu de Cartier unisex watch. This is in solid 18 karat yellow gold. The retail price is going to be jump scare, you guys. I have it for a killer deal. But again, this is a premium piece premium price but for a premium discount all things considered so this piece retails from cartier for thirty thousand one hundred us dollars thirty thousand one hundred us dollars that is like a good car you could buy a good car with that kind of money people so i'm saving you money i'm saving you enough money to buy an okay car with your savings <laughs> all right let me bring this out Guys, I'm in a silly, goofy mood today. All right. One thing about me, though, I'm going to keep it fun. We keep it fun. Oh, this is crazy. This is a crazy piece. I'm going to flip the camera. Let's talk her through. This is like the holy mecca of all Ballon Bliss that I've had, you guys. So, recently serviced, excellent condition, fully factory original. Um, it is not coming with its papers or box, so that is factored into the discount that you are getting with this piece. But it has a smooth bezel, obviously a round case. The face color, Cartier calls it silver. To me, it always looks a little more off-white or cream, but they call it silver, so good for them. No worries, Vicky. Sounds good. Okay. Emails to the best. Oops. Did I freeze again, you guys? I need to try to answer emails tomorrow. Admittedly, behind the scenes this week, I am swamped. There is a lot going on, so I am lagging a bit on my emails. But I will probably, by the latest, check by Thursday for you. Just a heads up. I'm not ignoring anybody. Just got a lot going on this week. Okay. Now back to this watch. So this is, again, a little on the chunkier side, as I like to say. This is a 12.2 millimeter case height on this piece. Has a automatic kinetic movement. It is solid 18 karat yellow gold. Solid. Exactly. <laughs> and um, 36 millimeters has a butterfly style clasp, aka hidden. So it looks flush. It looks like a single bracelet link style all the way around and this is measuring in at seven inches water resistant up to 30 feet so i'm gonna flip you guys back and throw it on the wrist here we go this is absolutely major killer huge in the best best way possible I'm obsessed. It's so good. <laughs> Again, I'm more of a dainty watch type of girly, but the fact that this is yellow gold, the fact that to me the Ballon Bleu, I don't know if you guys will agree with this, but the Ballon Bleu to me is like the most iconic Cartier style of watch. It's what I think of. It's what comes to mind when someone says, oh, Cartier watch. My mind brings up a picture of a Ballon Bleu. Might just be me, but she is that girl. So again, we'll get the price up momentarily, but just a reminder, she retails for 30,100 US dollars, you guys. Insane, 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 insane. So there are savings to be had. We'll get this up in a second. 
that is her. Isabel, let me know if you need this skew. Oh no, you're on it. You're good. It's all good. Okay, I'm gonna wrap her up. Jewelry, one more watch, and then we'll close out with a jewelry. And let me know if anybody's considering anything, thinking about anything. At least that really cute Tiffany bracelet has to go, you guys. Come on now. That is crazy. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, weird. Okay, I see the comments on my laptop and on my phone. It seems like my phone is acting up, so I'm going to be looking this way a lot, you guys. But we have the price. This is up and available for £17,550. USD, that is $21,808 US dollars. So again, significant savings compared to retail. Georgia, how are you? White gold Bulgari. Are you talking jewelry, Georgia, or watches? Watches, I didn't bring any Bulgari watches today, but I do have white gold jewelry options. Take a peek in the handbag icon. I had a ring with diamonds, I had a bracelet with diamonds, and I have a pair of earrings to come that I haven't shown yet that are in white gold. <laughs> bon Bon. Do you have an idea of what model of AP you wanna go for? That is major. Okay. Let's do my one and only David Uriman piece up next. So this is going to be our 18 karat yellow gold and sterling silver David Uriman Albion multi-strand necklace with a big chunk of blue topaz in the center. You guys know how I feel about a multi-strand necklace or multi-strand anything. I love them all. Bon bon, sounds good. I'm going to show this real quick and then I will show... The, I'll do a recap on the Volgari ring. It's a US size 7, just a heads up. But I also have a white gold Cartier ring for a good price. But I'll do a recap on the Volgari first right after for you. Alright, look at her. I love a multi-strand necklace. I think it's just such an instant, like, huge, powerful effect of class. They're very classy, very elegant, very beautiful. And I just love jewelry that has good movement to it and this has a plethora of movement but you guys look at how massive the center blue topaz stone is again it's surrounded by 18 karat yellow gold you guys and this is actually oh, it's so good so 18 karat yellow gold with the sterling silver i'll show you how the back is set but you can see that cable motif to the side there really cool ornate pattern to the back that also will help the light travel through your topaz and then traveling down the necklace you have the multi strands all the way down with a clasp to the end so pretty might be me maybe this is just like something that i personally love and i pull too much but i can never get enough of a multi strand i don't know they just really feel very special they feel very like heirloom jewelry to me like this is something that i would hope for my relatives to pass down onto me and bless me with because it's just so beautiful i think they're timeless even though they might kind of give off a little vintagey vibe i think they can be styled in a way that feels more current more modern but i don't think they're really tied to any era i just think they're pure class so that's my spiel on a multi-strand piece this one from david herman is up and available for 810 pounds, oh, thanks, Bon Bon, don't tell me that. 810 pounds, that is 1,006 US dollars. So real quick, we're gonna do a recap on the Volgari white gold ring for Miss Georgia. And then we'll do the Cartier white gold ring that I have. It's not a love ring, it's something a little bit different, but it's really good savings. And then we'll do our final watch, and then we just have three more pieces of jewelry. Actually, I'm going to skip one piece of jewelry, so we'll just have two after that. Okay. So, for Miss Georgia, this was a size 7, 18 karat white gold Bulgari B01 band ring set with Pave diamonds. There was a total of 0.48 carats of diamonds in this ring, and it's coming with its original Bulgari pouch. It's in pristine condition, so you can see the center channel of the B0 fully covered in diamonds with that signature little double point that meets in the b0 ring it is gorgeous here is oops 
one side of the ring with the Volgari signature there. And the other side with the signature on it twice. So size seven, here's how she looks on a finger. It is super comfortable to wear. Really good for stacking, also gorgeous on its own. And I like that the Fulgari is a little bit more subtle on this. It's very much so more along the lines of if you know, you know. It's not instantly recognizable as a B0 ring, but upon further peeping, you definitely will notice it. So this was well, well, well below its retail price by like thousands of dollars, if I'm not mistaken. So take a peek at the price, Georgia. It's excellent condition. If you're a size seven, if it works for you, I cannot recommend this one enough. The savings are killer. It's a killer ring. So let me know if there's any questions on that. And ooh, Bonbon, bon, yes. Yes, styling vision, I see it. All right, so up next, we're gonna do another white gold ring. So, oh, is it platinum? Oh my God, my bad. Correction, it's platinum, which is even better, at least in my humble opinion, but. <laughs> so this is actually platinum. So this is our Platinum Cartier C de Cartier 3 millimeter band ring. Thank you for catching that, Isa. I was just glancing at it and I hadn't read its little stock keeping tag yet. So um, this features 0.03 carat of diamonds, which is a tiny little micro baby diamond is set into this. It's a marked size 48 from Cartier and it is just coming as is. 48 is roughly, I believe that's like a, oh, that's itty bitty. It's like a US five maybe like a or is it like a 4.75 let me see if it let me see let me do some digging hmm. us no not listed okay so we know it's a cartier marked size 48 we know that much at least but it is platinum a little bit more of a simple motif. So you have the Cartier signature, hard to work with this light in here, but Cartier signature around the band of the ring and in front of the C is where you get that little 0.03 carat diamond that is set flush into the band, fully, fully set in there. So this would be an ideal candidate for like a pinky ring and it's a size 48 but i love the simplicity it's platinum so you know it can take a beating it will stay looking really nice and clean for a long long time let me see if i can fit it on my oh yeah that's cute is a you could put this as a chain so you can wear it this way or you can kind of put it like there's a certain way to put a chain through a necklace where it'll hang more like this so you can play around with the styling of it but i actually really like that idea and again killer price killer killer price on this so it retails for 2340 us dollars i have it available for 805 pounds and that is a thousand us dollars so over a thousand dollars of savings on this again it is a smaller size but the price was too good i couldn't not include it you guys so if you're in the market for maybe a pinky ring this is a really good candidate all right so let's do our final watch then our final two pieces of jewelry then we will be calling recaps, you guys. <clears throat> exactly. <laughs> so, our final watch of the day is a tried and true classic and another vintage Rolex, you guys. So, this is our Datejust Oyster Quartz. 17014 men's watch in stainless steel again it's a men's watch aka anyone can wear anything but technically for all intents of being accurate to what it is she's a men's watch so this is excellent condition recently serviced fully factory original um however again the dial has been serviced so it has later years dials on this but they are still original rolex styles so just making a note on that this piece will come with its original box but not its original papers i think this is the most simple clean classic choice you could go for out of the rolexes that i brought today um so it's of course a round case silver face on this which again to me always looks more like cream but they call it silver 
Um, the case height, again, a little on the chunkier side. This is 12.5 millimeters for the height of this watch. This is full stainless steel, water resistant up to 100 feet, 36 millimeters. It has, again, the classic Rolex flip style buckle to the back. The band on this is measuring in at 6.75 inches. Excellent condition, fluted bezel, stainless steel. It's a quartz battery movement. And again, circa 1999 or 1991 on this. So even older than the other one I had. 1991, beautiful, classic, definitely a regret free Rolex if I can coin the term. This is something you would buy and probably not feel the need to really replace for a good long time. You can just grow your collection, but having something simple and classic like this from Rolex, I don't think you're ever gonna really wanna part with it because it's always gonna be relevant. I feel like you'll always reach for it, grab it. It's kind of giving clean girl aesthetic. In the world of chunkier Rolexes for a woman, this one's giving the clean girl vibe, if I can make that statement. <laughs> so it's absolutely beautiful. It is up and available for 5,500 pounds. That is six thousand eight hundred and thirty-four U.S. dollars. All right, so we have two more pieces of jewelry, and then we will call recaps, you guys. Will something find a home? Time will tell. But remember, your customs and your duties are only covered during the duration of the live show. Just so you guys are aware, and also I want to be able to celebrate. I want to celebrate. If something is purchased, I want to be here with you to celebrate it. But no worries. If you're shy, I get it. Don't worry. <laughs> so we have two more pieces. One more Vulgari, one more Hermes. Let me bring them out. Um, okay. So let's do our Vulgari earrings. These are also quite major. These are 18 karat white gold Vulgari Serchi spelled with a C, Serchi Astrale, I'm so bad at Italian, well, Serchi Astrale, that's what I imagine in my head, so that's what I'm going to go with, drop earrings, <laughs> these are 1.4 carats of diamonds, 1.4, so just shy of one and a half, they are coming with their box, and these are beautiful, <laughs> French I can kind of phonetically make work. Japanese I'm really good at. I can read and pronounce Japanese perfectly as long as it's um, hiragana or katakana, not kanji. Kanji is my worst enemy. But Italian, I have no shot. I'm awful at Italian. <laughs> Valerie, how are you? Happy Tuesday, my love. Welcome on in. All right, look at these. Let me flip the camera for before I put them up to my face. But these are four pierced ears with the clasp attached permanently to the back. Nice and secure, also comfortable. But these have so much bling, you guys. You have the O-ring that will go against your earlobe to the top there. Hanging off that, you get this dangle with one, two, three different rings as your design. So you have the diamonds to the center, the classic Vulgari stamp to the middle. And then another row of diamonds to the exterior here. So these are in excellent condition level. Again, great deal compared to the retail price. The back is left open to allow the light to travel through and make the diamonds all the more sparkly. Isabel, it was... Okay, so I was able to pick up reading Hiragana and Katakana really easily. Like, if you're at, like, the convenience store or the konbini, if you will, um, I can read. So, like... Jap Japan is interesting where like they'll have kanji which is the traditional characters if we're American it's the characters that look more like Chinese symbols the really complex ones that's kanji that takes years if not a lifetime to learn them all but usually on signs so like when you're taking transit or in grocery stores usually they'll have some kanji but underneath they'll either have hiragana or katakana Katakana is used to phonetically sound out kind of like American words so that's why when you go to Japan stuff like like we say hamburger i'm gonna eat a hamburger but you go to japan and they're like hamburger hamburger but that's because it's katakana so they spell it out it's similar to i'm getting all over the place but ha m b g ham m b g hamburger so that's why it sounds like that but there's a whole nother alphabet used for sounding out 
English words, and that's katakana. Hiragana is just like the basic alphabet. It took me probably like two to three months of studying both of the alphabets to be able to read them and like understand them and write them. Two to three months, but also learning languages is something I love to do. So you got to have the passion and the drive to really sit down and do it. But also, yeah, anime helps. But Isabel, the best thing I did for myself was I just took, I took like three semesters of just a community college Japanese class. I was not a student in any other class. I just took them virtually from home. And I took the course just as a passion to learn Japanese. And it was really helpful having a school structure to keep you accountable to study it. I think learning on my own, now that I've got the basics down, it's easier for me to continue self-study. But for the basics, I would recommend like a community college class to start off. But it's doable, it's not impossible. So like eventually when I do go to Japan, I know that I can at least navigate and semi-order through the two alphabet systems that I do know. Kanji, I'm hopeless, I admit to that, but I got two alphabets to work with. <laughs> that was fun, I could talk about that all day. It's my favorite side tangent. Okay, oh, thank you, Baba. So here's how they look on my ears. It's because you guys, I graduated college in 2020. I think it was, I think it was April of 2020. So COVID had just started happening. We were all locked down. I graduated with a bachelor's degree and no one was hiring. We couldn't even leave our houses. So I was like, you know what? I guess I'll learn Japanese. So that's how I came to kind of know as much as I do about it. All right. Anyways, these earrings, let's circle back. I love a good tangent, but our Bulgari Astrale Seuchi, as I like to say, drop diamond earrings in 18 karat white gold with one and three eight karat weight of diamonds are up and available for 6,290 pounds. That is 7,800 and roughly 15 US dollars. And we have one last piece of jewelry up next. Then we're calling recaps, you guys. So Isa, our final piece. Back to Hermes, we have 18 karat white gold Hermes Ferrandole pendant. The small model, it features 0.45 carats of diamonds, 0.45 carats, and it's coming with its box and its original receipt. So if you like the vibe of the rose gold chain d'angra necklace I had earlier, but you're more of a silver white gold girly, this is similar enough, okay? It's your best second choice. <laughs> so let me bring it out. Actually, it's the same choice, but different. All right, we have the same two motifs of the bar and circle clasp and our little chain d'ancre. However, this one's just gonna have the chain d'ancre vertical as your pendant and the T-bar closure is going to be at the back of your neck. I guess nothing is technically stopping you from wearing it to the front. You could, by all means you could, but for showing it off, I'm not gonna keep it that way. All right, let me flip the camera to show you guys in detail. So again, you have the mini chain d'ancres making up the chain length of the necklace. And then you have your fully blinged out vertical pendant there at the bottom. Really beautiful. The back is going to be just solid 18 karat white gold. And I'll show you guys in detail your T-bar closure very subtly on here is where you're going to have your Hermes little branding and Hallmark signature all stamped into there. This is our final piece of the day, guys. So this one, the Ferrandol Pendant 18K White Gold with Diamonds is up and available for £5,635. And that is roughly $7,001 US dollars. It's so good. It seems like it's really comfortable. Like, it just feels like you wouldn't even notice it. But the quality in my hands just feels out of this world good. It's just a really solid. So, Isabel, if I could recommend it, I would definitely recommend it to you. <laughs> if you have curly hair, Luna, honestly, I would find, because my hair... Okay, if I... Luna, can I hit you up for hair care advice? Because I've recently discovered that I think my hair naturally wants to be curly and that's why I struggle with it being poofy all the time. So I've been experimenting, you can kind of see it, but this is just air dried and I'm trying to start to learn how to do like the curly girl method of hair, but I didn't use any hot tools. Like this is naturally how my hair dried after 
attempting to do a curly girl method. So I'm getting there, but I think I might have somewhat wavy, maybe curly hair. I'm gonna keep up with the curly girl method and see what my hair decides to do the more I do it. But my answer to your question is I find, cause my hair gets kind of matted and knotted towards the back. So I have that issue with necklaces too. I find that mine is more prone to go into a lobster claw clasp or stuff where there's extra bits and pieces to the back. Because this doesn't have any like pinchy parts, I don't think that hair would get tangled in this mm absolutely yeah i feel like other style class would give you the problem more than this clasp is because this has a lot of room for you to just pull your hair out and it's not really there's nothing that would snag or get caught in the hair i would say so i hope that helps but also i would love to ask you what hair care products you would recommend because i've been treating my hair as though it was straight my whole life and i'm recently learning that that's a big fat lie <laughs> All right, so we are now in our recap era. We have a recap request for the Roberto Coy necklace, MM Immaculate Taste. It's an immaculate piece at a really great price. I'll bring that back out, you guys. Let me know if there's any other recap requests I can help with. You have the next roughly 13 minutes to take advantage of your customs and duties being covered by purchasing via the live show while it's live. And I'll only be here for a little bit longer to help you guys out. But this was definitely MM one of my favorite pieces of the day. It is solid 18 karat yellow gold from Roberto Coin. Like it has a really healthy weight to it and features this little grouping of diamonds off center to the front. So let me flip the camera to show you in detail. It's an excellent condition level. There is your off center little added touch of sparkle from the diamonds. And you have this really cool circular texture all the way around it honestly kind of reminds me of like cleopatra was what i was saying earlier it just has a really regal effect to it and i love that you have that texture all the way around absolutely stunning so i will throw it on the neck to open it you have this little button here so you just push down and then it opens up on kind of secret hidden hinges which makes for a really easy on and off situation. You don't even need anyone to help you with it. So once it's on the neck, it is so good. <laughs> like this is definitely one of my highlight favorite pieces of the day. I'm not gonna clasp it fully just for, actually I will. I just clasped it fully. So that's how it sits on me. I can get my shirt out of the way. So it's definitely, it's not a true choker choker to where it's up on your neck but it's sitting right at the base of your neck, hitting those collarbones, so flattering and elegant. And it was such a good price, but solid 18 karat yellow gold. So the price of the material on this is like insanely, insanely good, MM. Let me know if there's any other questions and also let me know if you're just a Roberto Coin fan in general, because I'm looking forward to bringing more pieces from the brand in the near future for you guys, but that is her. So let me know if there are any other um, recap requests, you guys. Isabel, thank you so much for your help with moderating today and also your help with literally everything today. <laughs> you are my hero. You are my sanity. <laughs> so I'm going to drop my email and my Instagram just in case you guys need to get in touch with me. Again, give me a little bit of extra grace this week, you guys. Um, I have a lot of stuff that I'm working on for LP behind the scenes this week, so I'm not able to be on my app, my laptop as much as I normally am. Like, I really am not even sitting down outside of the shows this week. So give me a little bit of grace with answering. Normally, I like to do all my answers the next day, but I'm running a little behind this week, so I'll do the best I can. But there's my email. I'll get to it. Don't worry. And my Instagram as well if you guys want to be Instagram friends. Um, final, final call though, if you need anything, get in touch. If any orders come through in the next 10 minutes, I'll make sure your customs and your duties are still covered and hundred percent that they will ship out tomorrow. But I hope you guys enjoyed the show. I had a lot of fun putting it together. Um, let's see, tomorrow you'll see me moderating Kristen at 3.30 PM Eastern Standard Time. Thursday, I'm bringing you guys my high-end selects. Um, it's going to be more of a bag focus show on Thursday, but I'm just pulling pieces that are a little bit more either higher quality or higher prestige, better materials, just kind of a little step above for bags. <laughs> Ciao, bon bon. And then Friday, me and Trudy are back, so I'll be moderating Trudy on Friday and Saturday. 
and you guys will see me with my jewelry show on Saturday right before Trudy. So you'll see a lot of me this week. I'll be around you guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to join my show today. Greatly appreciate it. 